and I know it was a goal heading into the playoffs to kind of get this ground game going. It looks like you all found some things. What's it like, you know, having that, having that good performance and carrying it over until in the wild card weekend? Yeah, I mean, definitely you always want to have a great run game, um, no doubt. Um, you know, you always want to have a great versatility, whether it's run game, play action, or pass, you know, because you're going to need them all at some point. Um, you know, but it also gives us a great um, spread of, like, who we are as an offense. And the more diverse you can be, you know, that's a, that's a bigger test for the defense for sure. Um, but, yeah, no, we definitely, uh, you know, we want to run the ball. We want to pass the ball. We want to put on play action. We want to do it all. So, Tyler, last thing, last one for me, Terrence Steele coming back again, another guy coming back from a bad injury. Yeah. Played every snap. Coach McCarthy said it earlier, you know, he hasn't missed anything. What's right. What was it like having him back on that right side and just him yeah. being there week in and week out? Yeah, I mean, you know, another guy. You know, we had two guys coming back from, uh, you know, you know, injuries that you know take some time. And uh, um, for him to you know, come back and rehab from his ACL and, we had some other stuff going on too. Was, um, I think it was not just maybe as I said, but like, um, but his his whole um, you know off season, you know, you know kind of not necessarily being right beside him, but you know being always kind of seeing him day to day. Um, you know, he's a grinder. You know, we have grinders on our team. And, uh, you know, we're always battling our you know, best off getting back, um, and getting healthy, and he's done that for this team. And you know, give him a lot of credit for the way he's gone about his business. And you know, him and TP both like you know they were in there every day with the training room. Um, so I mean, you know, you know, proud of him too. And uh, but no, it's what he can do on the field. You know, we're excited, definitely excited for him to be back this season. And um, he's doing a great job. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Speak to the pressure that you guys have in terms of being a team that's playing at home, hasn't lost all year, and the expectation. Can you repeat that? Can you start to speak to the pressure <coughs> and how you keep guys relaxed, knowing that people are you're the favorite here, you're at home, you haven't lost all year? Yeah, I mean, we just got to play our game. I mean, it's, it's as simple. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's like any other game. I mean, you know, we've been in this position before. Um, you know, we've been in playoff you know, games before. We've had guys on our team that have been in um, the last two years. You know, we, you know, we know it's at stake. Um, but at the same time, it's like this is what we can work for every, you know, every single day. You know, we, we have reminders on our boards you know, all the time, like, like, you know, where we want to go. And this is just one, this is the first step forward. What Tyler. makes this run different for you than last time? This one comes for when it's winter, go home. Do you get butterflies pregame? I get training? excited, man. Yeah, you know, that, that dishes you up, man. Like honestly, like you know, this these are the, this is what you play for. I mean, you know, obviously you play for every game, right? Um, but um, you you play for like the playoffs. You play for you know opportunity, you know, to keep you know going to where your, your mission, your end goal is, right? And it's just one step, you know, closer to it. So like. I'm, I'm excited for it, um, you know, and like we're, we're going to be ready when it comes Sunday. Is there, is there any added juice being able to play on home field this week as opposed to maybe having to go on the road? I mean, I think the added juice is the playoffs. I mean, honestly, yeah. I mean, obviously we're at home, right? And, uh, you know, but we're going to have to play home or away at some point. Um, and we know that, but at the same time, like, you know, obviously it's exciting to have Cowboys Nation here at, in Dallas. Um, but I mean, you know, having that home crowd, it definitely is an advantage for sure. Um, but like I said before, like I think the exciting thing is the playoffs, and we're one step closer to our, you know, you know, end goal, right? You know. What do you see from their defensive lines? You know, you, you, you see you see a variety of things, a variety of uh, different uh, personnel that they play. I mean, you know, they, they have some different packages that they they run versus some personnel, and then um, but uh, you know they, they do some movement, you know, they do some pressure for sure. Um, but you know, they, their front seven for sure, I think, is like the strength. Of their, their this nucleus having been through this, like Excuse me, what'd you say? With this nucleus having been through this, this is the third straight time yeah. postseason. Yeah. Nucleus of the team. Okay. The key guys, I mean, three and all. Okay. Yeah. Right. Is, are you better prepared as a group to go deeper this year because you've all been through this together a couple of times, or is that? Is, can you not say that? It's just every year you need to expect. I think there's a little bit of both. I think you know it is a unique year, um, for sure. Um, you know, I mean, every year you're gonna have different pieces of the puzzle of, of your team. That's, that's the reality of it. And I think also experience. You know, it, it definitely helps. I mean, you know, you didn't be in a position before, but also you know that's the same thing as in it's the new year, right? Um, but yeah. You know, what were your thoughts on how Brock and TJ did last week, especially Brock yeah. stepping in last minute? Like, yeah, no, I mean, my guys did great. You know, I, I, it's so funny because he like, stepped away. You can be honest. You know, no, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, but like we we always prepare. You know, that that's what I was saying. Like, you know, we always prepare for those um, for those moments. You know, because like you know, like during the week, we you know we always have like at some point we're always having that lineup in and um, you know giving like you know. 
because you know Tyler was out, and uh, you know even how Zach like if, he, if his reps you know when he gets subbed out or not like that's the lineup that goes in. So like honestly like you know when that scenario happened like we were like we're gonna hit we're gonna hit it on the head like we've been doing this all year, and for him to come out and and like it didn't change anything. We had the most utmost confidence in um, everything we put in the game plan, right? So like. To come in and do that, you know, it speaks volumes of how they prep, but also how, you know, you know the trust we have in this team, in the continuity and the chemistry of our you know, whoever's in the game. You know, all eleven are on the same page with whoever it is. And but no, proud of those guys. You know, those, you, know, those, you know, we've been we've been through a lot this whole year, and like you know, they hit at, we had adversity at the beginning of the season. They stepped in, and, and, and it happened again. And like, there's no blinks. Um, you know, just proud of them. Can't say enough. What are those Friday meetings like when? When the guys who score touchdowns call up the the people who helped them get into the end zone, the, uh, those, those Friday meetings where yeah. the people who score the touchdowns call oh, yeah. up someone who helped them get in the end zone, and can, yeah. can you talk a little bit about those or guys? How much do guys have fun with that? Yeah, and, shoot, that's special, man. I mean, it's like the little things that you you kind of have within within your own team. You know, kind of probably no one knows and probably till now. But hey, you know, I think I think it's one of those things that you know. You know, you could pick probably anyone on on the team, you know, and like, you know, obviously like maybe that particular play on the impact or the throw or like the block or whatever that may be. Um, but no, that's special to us, but also like knowing that, you know, it doesn't happen unless maybe this person didn't do this or that person didn't do that. But all, obviously like as a whole, like all 11, like obviously they do all the job. It's like, it's kind of like you did that extra push or like that, you know, that great throw or like that great block, you know, I think it, I think that's kind of special between us, you know, and as a team and um, that chemistry of how much you build throughout the weekend. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think everyone's got it at some point, so it's pretty cool.